<laughs> Hi there, I'm Mike Nerland. And as I sit here enjoying my heart healthy lunch, I thought I'd talk a little bit about the Common Core State Standards, or CCSS. I'm just gonna refer to them as Common Core. Have you ever heard of the term apples to apples comparison? Well, that's really the idea behind Common Core. Take this apple. Now this apple represents what kids need to know by the time they graduate high school to be college or career ready. So before Common Core, each state had different goals for their students. For example, this here is Florida's goals. And this is Georgia's goals. And this here is Hawaii. Now I know what you're thinking, and yes, I do eat the whole pineapple. If you cut it up, you lose out on all that great fiber. Huh? So instead of all these different fruits, all the states are now apples. A lot of people ask me, does Common Core tell teachers what to teach? And that is a very good question. But when it comes to questions on curriculum or educational policy, I like to turn to my cousin, Mark Nerdland. Does Common Core tell teachers what to teach? Short answer, no. No, it does not. If Common Core can be represented by an apple, what states teach can be represented by varieties of apples. They are all slightly different. They even have different names. For example, in your home state of Washington, your variety of Common Core is called the Washington State Learning Standards. Thus, each state has its own flavor. But what do they share? A Common Core. <laughs>